Uh, this stream that we're on here today is one of uh, many streams that flow to the east from Shenandoah Mountain in Virginia uh, that support native brook trout. Um, our mission out here today is to do water quality measurements in support of some of our acid rain studies that we've been doing in conjunction with Forest Service and Game and Inland Fisheries over the last 20 years. Um, we are also studying the dam. There's an impoundment on the stream called Hone Quarry Lake, and that dam was created in 1968. And we're studying the pool that's in that dam uh, for the sake of understanding whether it is adequate water chemistry to support a uh, sustaining fish population. A lot of work with uh, water quality this summer. Mm -hmm. The water that's present in the stream um, that drains from these slopes is really, really clean water. Um, there's several different ways to describe clean water. One way is to describe the water in terms of its clarity, its appearance. And of course, because of the forested landscape that we have here, uh, the lack of any kind of human development, uh, the relatively small number of roads that we have, uh, the water uh, drains off a filtered landscape, so to speak, and is very, very clean. Um, the turbidity levels are extremely low. Even during storm runoff events, when, when streams get stirred up, um, there is some increase in turbidity, but um, they, nonetheless, they remain fairly clean. So as, so as you stand down there and look up the pipe, Another way to define water quality is in terms of the chemicals that are present in the water. And virtually all the chemicals that are present in this water are the result of the weathering, the rock formations that are present naturally in this uh, watershed. And those chemicals, calcium, nitrogen, um, in the form of uh, nitrate, um, chlorine, in the form of chloride, sulfate, uh, magnesium, sodium, uh, very, very low concentrations. Uh, when we analyze these water samples back to the lab, we have to use a very sophisticated analytical methodology because the concentrations of the ingredients are so low. Uh, in comparison to valley floor streams, which have much higher turbidity levels of suspended solids and much higher concentrations in other ingredients. So, so site one will be down here. Site two will be where the submarine bridge is above the picnic area. Okay. Site three will be at the Other base. Other than acid deposition, which obviously is entering from the atmosphere, uh, there's relatively little human impact on the water quality in these streams, very, very good water. And that changes dramatically uh, once the streams exit from the national forest uh, and move on to more developed land uh, where we have agriculture and we have uh, industry uh, that contributes um, impacts to the, to the stream. Um, all the streams that have perennial flow that, that come up, down off this, this side of the uh, Shenandoah Mountain are uh, streams that support native brook trout. Uh, native brook trout is an endemic species, and it is the state fish of Virginia. Um, and brook trout habitat has been severely restricted over the last two centuries as a result of human development. Uh, I think the range of brook trout, um, according to the experts that I've talked to, is about 10% of what it once was in Virginia. I can always tell a trout though by the way they swim. Um, is this circular or is this flat bottom? It's circular. The cleaner the water, uh, the better for human uh, consumption. Some of the water up here has been impounded in the form of reservoirs. There's a reservoir uh, that's operated by the city of Stanton called Stanton Dam. There's another reservoir operated by uh, the city of Harrisonburg called uh, Switzer Dam uh, Skidmore Lake. Uh, those are municipal water supplies, and one of the reasons that they sought this, this mountain water uh, for their municipal water supplies is because it's so clean. Um.
the, be the best thing for water quality is minimizing uh, additional road construction. Uh, the reason the road construction can be a problem is because of the fact that roads tend to create erosion. Um, and the, the management should be take, taking the perspective of a passive approach uh, where we're not uh, doing a whole lot of things that would affect the, um, the landscape as a whole. The whole so basically, preserving it pretty much in, in a natural way is, is, would be uh, the best way to protect water quality.